coming up right now, this is one of the big ones right here. Joey McKenna, Ohio State versus Cade Brock, Oklahoma State. Two two-time All-Americans. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 141 pounds of, of talent out on that mat. Cade Brock stud, five-time Fargo All-American. You know, two-time college All-American, three-time state champion in high school. You know, he's got some major accolades. And uh, here we see Tom Ryan from Oklahoma, uh, Ohio State coming on the mat. Mc Joey McKenna's uh, coach. Cade Brock looking jacked. This is going to be a very entertaining match. I'm loving this right now. You got people watching at home, you better be ready because this is going to be a good one. Okay, the season begins. The collegiate season right here. It sure does. Oh, nice swing single for McKenna. Oh, can he dump him? Oh, he switched to it. Nice little dump right off of that swing single. Switched to a dump, got his two. Brock gets right out, two to one. Didn't get much riding time there, Nick. That's no. the other thing about college wrestling. If you're not familiar with college wrestling, if you ride your opponent longer than he rides you for one minute, one minute longer than he rides you, you get one point. So didn't pick a whole lot up there before the escape by Brock. What, what do you think the uh, delay is now? Are they looking at the takedown again? I can't believe they look pretty clean to me. Yeah, did he call back? I don't understand that. But, hey, and in any case, it's 2-1 to one with uh, 2 minutes and 40 seconds left in the first period. Here at the 53rd Annual NWCA All-Star Classic. McKenna's being aggressive on his feet. Well, he's a goer. Both of these guys are goers. They're going to come after you for seven straight minutes. And you have to be a laser beam. When you wrestle guys like Cade Brock and Joey McKenna, you have to be a laser beam. You have to be concentrating and just as much mentally ready as physically ready to wrestle a match like this. Change in levels by Brock. And what do we have here? What do we have here? Oh, hands to the face. Wow. Hands to the face. That's, that's unbelievable. I mean, I... You know, it's an all-star match. You know, you're going to... I'd like a little bit more before he throws a point out there. But, hey, it's 2-2. Two -two. Well, Tom Ryan's uh, trying to find out why. You know, that, could be, that could be not, the difference. not complaining. Yeah. So that ties the score up, 2-2. Two two. And now that, that makes McKenna a little gun-shy. Alex Derringer in K. Brock's corner. Stud over there. He didn't do too well in college. He only won three <laughs> NCAA titles, right? He's I mean, they couldn't win four. I mean, come on. <laughs> Unbelievable talent. Some great talent in both coaching staffs, Ohio State and Oklahoma State. Unbelievable rooms. Imagine going to war every day in Oklahoma State and Ohio State's wrestling room. Well, Dave I'd Schultz say, used to say, steel sharpens steel. No doubt about it. Nice shot Ooh. by McKenna. Nice shot. And you know what? Brock was was very, very small. Oh! He, he never gave up on He never it. gave him two there? No, and he never gave up on his defense. But it looked like wow. that was about as close to a takedown as you could get. That's, that's unbelievable. I thought it... It probably should have been 2-2 two -two there. Basically what Tom Ryan is saying, Joey McKenna had the takedown. It should be probably 4-4 four -four right now with a reversal for Brock. I think that's what, that's, they never awarded the two points to McKenna. No, they didn't. I, I wish we could see the replay. 
you know, you know, listen, K. Brock is a stud. I'm watching him, and just even though he's a two-time All-American, like it just looks like he, his just this whole vibe this year is, you know, that that. Hey, listen, I, it's my time. You know, I got on the stand a couple times. Now I want to win it, and he's showing that against a very tough McKenna. But I'll tell you, I thought that was two points for McKenna. Well, we'll see here in a few. You don't want to. You don't want to get Tommy Ryan riled up in the corner. <laughs> You know, if I if it was if I got a takedown and it was kind of close and somebody went back to the instrument play and took it away, I'd be I'd be upset. Well, it's a fact that that McKenna was docked a point for hands in the face, and then it's potentially uh, denied the no. He gets the takedown. No change. Okay, one minute left, four to, four to two. McKenna's got to get a quick point here. I don't think Brock's going to have it, though. And there you go. One point Neutral. escape. I, I got a feel, you know, I think that the people at home might agree with me that that McKenna's really been the aggressor in this match and uh, finds himself behind by a point. We'll see how this plays out. Usually those things come back to help you. 20 seconds. Oh, nice low single or low double, I should say. Changes off to a single. Let's see if McKenna can finish. He's only got 10 seconds left. He's got to work hard. He's got to go quick. Boy, some nice oh. finishing. Oh. Oh. It doesn't get better than this, Nick. Wow. Oh, and time I'll runs tell you right now, with eight seconds left, McKenna gets that takedown. Right now, I know Cade Brock is upset. He, wish he, had, he wishes he had that back. Well, this has gone back and forth and back and forth. Now McKenna takes the lead. And Tom Ryan wants him to get the score straight. And uh, I can't say I blame him, uh, but they think the score is correct. McKenna five, well, I Brock think it, four. I think, I, you know what? I think it may, it, it is correct. I think Tom Ryan was just screaming that out because he thinks he should have gotten that other two. <laughs> Brock get, getting those hips away. Hand fighting. I think he'll be, McKenna, he'll McKenna, score his escape here pretty quick. McKenna trying to get some riding time. Oh, oh, almost, almost near fall. It is near fall. Oh, wow. McKenna caught wow. him as he was trying to hip heist. He anticipated it. Wow, he got the four. You know, this four point near fall, I mean, that's, that's a death sentence, man. You get, you get four points. It's changed everything. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's tough to come back on that. Yeah. Listen, right now, he can't think about the big picture. He can't think about being down by five. You know, Brock has to think about one point at a time. Let's get it. Let's get. Let's get a point here. Let's get on my feet. Let's get back on my feet. And yep. Kenny, Kenny's got to come off that parallel ride. Got to come out to the side. Right now, he's got that. He's got that bar on pretty, pretty tight on Brock. Oh boy, McKenna's really taking control. I mean, he really was aggressive in that first round, got snake bit, uh, but he is really establishing dominance here in the, in the second period. Now Only 19 right seconds there. left. He's getting major riding time right now on Brock. Yes. 
And two minutes left in this marquee match within the marquee all-star meet. Here we go, 9-4, two minutes left. Let's see, let's see what happens here the last two minutes. The first collegiate match for both these guys. It's uh, a test of sorts. See where their conditioning levels are at. If Brock can get some wrist control and maybe tip up McKenna, he could get that four point near fall, but that's not what's gonna happen. All right, 10-4. You know, he, he, got, he got a little time off that riding time, but I don't think he took off. I mean, there's no clock here for riding time. So we can't even tell you if McKenna has another point coming. That's correct. He's down six. A takedown and a four point near fall is probably the best thing he can hope for right now. And in the process, knock that riding time down. What does a guy do, though, uh, against a guy like McKenna, whose position is almost flawless? How is well, he going to get him out of position McKenna, to find the big one? It's tough. It's tough. It's, McKenna, you know, he's he. that's the one thing that makes him so successful. One of the many is that his positioning is so is so good. And, Beautiful. And, and, and it's, it's hard to get him out of position. You know, but I, listen, there's a minute left. I'd like to see Brock go for something big here or get a takedown, let him go, and then, and then you know. But, you know, listen, you're talking about a, a well-seasoned, you know, really solid guy in McKenna. Yeah, he's not, uh, he's not backing up much, but he's not going to take a whole lot of risk either. There was a nice attempt. Now Brock's got him in kind of a vulnerable position. And the stalemate ends that. McKenna goes for more. Hey, let me tell you, the best wrestlers, they keep continuing try to try to score. They're always trying to score. Doesn't matter the time. And he's definitely doing that. Keeping that safe position. He's got to be pleased with the way his first match of the season's. And I mean, listen, to wrestle his first match of the season against a guy like Brock, who's a stud. Yes. Um, not an easy first match. You know, and listen, think about this. Take the four points away from, you know, from McKenna catching him. It's a 6-4 match. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's how close these guys are. Very entertaining. Very entertaining. Joey match. McKenna wins it by a score of 10-4 in the opening bout for the men.